and good evening. Welcome to the place where we're at, Hollywood Studios. We're here for some snacks, some evening snacks here just as the park closes. I mean, we still got a little bit of time, so we're gonna make our rounds. We're gonna get some snacks as much as we can here in Hollywood Studios. They do have some uh, fall treats that are, you know, out and about, and I think we're gonna try a few of those, so that should be fun, right? So here's the things that you can do also. It's our turn first though, so then you can see and then you can decide if that's what you wanna do. First thing we got is from Rosie's, and it's this uh, pumpkin pie tiramisu. Pumpkin cheesecake. Pumpkin, that's what I said, pumpkin cheesecake tiramisu. Oh, what did you get? Frozen apple cider with Captain Morgan's in it? With a cinnamon that rim? That was crown apple. Or crown apple. Crown, crown apple. royal apple. Crown royal apple, maybe. That's the one. Watch out when they got these big straws. Balls right in the mouth. We're gonna get a drink from old Baseline Tap House. And I think we may just go to a galaxy far, far away. Long time ago even, time travel. Go Galaxy's Edge and get a Ronto wrap, because that sounds delicious. Over to the place, Toronto Roaster, so we can get a Rocco wrap. Oh, it's really loud in here, because there is a, like a, I mean, there is a rocket engine type thing right there, so I would assume it would be loud, but we did, we did get a Rocco wrap, and we stopped at Baseline Tap House. To wash it down before we went back in time. sounds all the ambient sounds here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge a lot of sights and sounds to see and listen to not only here but all over Disney World because that's what they do they theme theme is what they do best that's pretty cool to go back, back to the future. <laughs> Time travel is fun. And they got the best music over here at Muppets. And <laughs> Even though like Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is really cool, I still find myself drawn to old, what do you call this, Grand Park or whatever, you know, Muppet Square. That's basically what it is, but man, it's so cool. 
it just feels cool. There's awesome music and there's awesome things everywhere. Like, look at Vision 3D. Look, oh, look at that. That is freaking awesome. And you know what else is cool? Eyeballs, Muppet eyeballs everywhere. Everywhere you look, Muppet eyeballs. That is. That's pretty cool. All right, so technically the park is officially closed. So we need to get out of here so that way cast members can do their thing and they can go home. But man, it's so hard to leave sometimes, isn't it? Totally. That might be my favorite place here. Grand Park. Yeah. Pretty amazing sights and sounds that we can see in here. <gasps> Listen. Oh, it was quiet for a moment. That's always really neat when it's quiet here. It really brings you like in to the moment, to the place inside, like part of the scenery. That's what I love. What the heck am I even talking about? You guys are in for a ride here. All right, so that was pretty cool. But anyways, we're gonna go down on this. We're not gonna go down the main Hollywood Boulevard, Sunset Strip, whatever that is. We're gonna go by old Echo Lake because it's just kind of awesome. Good stuff around here. Ooh, Echo Park Drive. And then back to us, us, not just me, us. There's, there's the kiddo. He's having a good time, but man. Ooh, those windows do look cool. These are Skyliner windows. Wow. We're gonna get on the Skyliner momentarily. A quick, nice evening here in Hollywood Studios. The old park that, it's got a little place. It's got a little place right there. What a excellent, excellent evening. We were only here, what, maybe an hour and a half? That's all it takes. That's all it takes to get a little taste, a little, a little tip of the tongue taste of that magic. Make it worthwhile. Anyways, thanks for coming along. As far as we're concerned, oh heck yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs>